What's up everybody? It's your boy Eddie D. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are on episode 3 of Grey's Anatomy season 2. Um, in the last episode, if I'm not mistaken, um, we were seeing some um, of the uh, backlash, uh, no, not the backlash, but the aftermath of um, Addison's um, appearance in the show um, and how that has basically disrupted um, the relationship between Derek and Meredith. Um, Meredith and Christina's relationship is starting to grow. Um, they are more expressive toward each other about, you know, the things that are going on in their lives. Um, I think they, that breaking point um, in episode one kind of cemented uh, the friendship between the two of them. Um, George is um, dealing with the aftermath of, you know, his, you know, brief relationship with his um, now ex-girlfriend and the fact that he has these feelings for Meredith that he will not express doesn't know how to express, doesn't know how to deal with. Um, Alex showed more of his past um, in talking about how, um, you know, his dad um, uh, was abusive and how he, when he got older, got into wrestling, got bigger, uh, more physically adept, and basically, you know, beat his dad down and how he regretted that um, because he wished that he could, um, you know, remedy that relationship. Um, between him and his dad um, that certainly you know lit Izzy's um, uh, life up just a little bit more um, so again interested to see whether or not that relationship is going to pan out the way it looks like it's trying to um, we got to meet Richard's wife uh, for the first time um, and, um, and 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 how and, and really get to see how the how being a doctor is um it, how it just takes away from having a relationship with people um it seems in this hospital and Burke um you know is kind of torn between wanting to be this great doctor chief of medicine and have a life at the same time which is why his relationship with Christina is still looking you know kind of like I want you but I don't want you I want you but I won't tell you and something to that end. Um, Christina's feeling the same way. I don't want to be with you, but I keep looking at you with these googly eyes. Um, I want to say something to you, but I don't. Um, and when Burke offers, opens the door for her to speak, she doesn't say anything. She Or goes right back to business as usual while still being mad at him um, for, you know, for breaking it off. Um, and so, uh, so we're seeing a lot of the dynamics of the relationships between everybody, uh, play out a whole lot more and I'm loving every minute of it. Um, it's giving me a lot to chew on and to think about. And so, um, I, I'm kind of expecting my reactions to be a little more nuanced than they have been because of the, um, the character, um, development that I'm seeing. Um, so, you know, let me know if, you know, if it's becoming too much for y'all as I'm, you know, kind of talking a little bit more before and after, uh, the show. But at any rate, uh, we're going to get right into it. Episode three of season two of Grey's Anatomy. Let's get it. Uh, this is supposed to make you feel better. Uh-uh. I want to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, Gary Knox. I still love Gary. Probably, yeah. And then you leave me alone. <laughs> you really think you can take me to New York right now? Hell no. Now, okay, let's, let's be honest. And all that really? Control, all that beautiful control. What is she doing? Mm-hmm. Why not? Uh-huh. Here y'all go. 
I'm trying to group them up now. It's happening. You gotta just accept fate. You flew me now, I'll hurt you. Did you do me a favor, sister? You should have thought of that before you gave Chief the bird to fight Satan to Seattle. Satan? Marty? Richard, what's that? Satan speaks. No! Try to be called ruler of all that is evil. But I will answer some of Nice. I asked her to stay. We have a pediatric surgery attending on maternity leave. Actually, I could use you on a consult. <laughs> hey, there's a new surgical case coming up from the pit. Likely diverticulitis. Let's go. Watch your hands off me. I've been reporting you to the chief. Can you be out on your ass? Where is the chief? Where is the chief? You're all advertised. Uh -oh. uh, would you mind crappy pain and diarrhea? Also oh! Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Mm. I can't get mad. I can't be happy. I can't feel anything without the whole world knowing. Mm. I can't have a secret. Can you imagine living that way your entire life? Hmm. You don't have a poker face. I get it. <laughs> now they're gonna find out she's pregnant. God, this show was good. This show was good. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. 
There you go. You can't. You can't keep. Shut up, man. Shut up. Ah. She was going to lose the baby anyway. God damn. That. Okay. Okay. I got some thoughts about that, but let's go. Oh, Lord. It's Christina. <sighs> you need to be sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm so tired of it being sorry. Just don't do it. Dr. Craig. Dr. Craig, seriously. Are you concerned about Alex finding out about us? Is that what matters to you? Do you really think he cares? Alex, do you care about if the intern's stupid enough to screw the marriage? Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to be on your side, but then you say stuff that don't make sense. Like, okay, uh, just, okay. No, you're not. I made her go jogging. There's no way that could have. No, no. It started out this way. Nothing caused it to happen. Mm -hmm. You have to let me in there. No, I don't. Exactly. Okay. I may be short, but pretty tiny. I can do it. Right now, just in this moment, mm -hmm. I hate you. Good. Yeah. Thick and thick. All right, Dr. Gray. I'm going to put you to sleep for a little while. Finally, somebody put a block in front of her and said, no, you can't. I don't care if you're Meredith Gray. I don't care if you're the hero of this story. I said, no, you can't do it. That made me feel good. Golly. Yeah, you have to sit on the sidelines. God, I can't imagine being on the sidelines right now. Like, that would suck like a madman. But, this is where you have to be. So, accept your fate. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, we do. But I just want to say that I believe you. But it's different once you get to know me. Fact is, I don't really like you very much either. I don't like the way you speak to me. And I really hate the way you speak to Meredith. She deserves better from you. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Boy, all right. The mass on your liver. Is it all gone? I mean, is it all gone? Yes. Oh, this is so hard to watch. Is it malignant? <sighs>
Poor buddy. No God, he hurting. You fall. He is hurting. Except, if there's an upside to free falling, it's the chance you give your friends to catch you. Ooh, bars. Bars. It's the chance you give your friends to catch you. That's all right. Okay. All right. Um, there's a lot going on in that episode there, man. Yeah. I, so I was not expecting Ellis Gray to show up and um, that be exposed to everyone like that. Um, obviously, you know, when dealing with Alzheimer's and things like that, it, it kind of was expected at some point that she would end up back at the hospital um so i so i expected eventually that everybody would find out that she had alzheimer's but i guess I, again i wasn't expecting it to be this soon um it, 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 so i just wasn't expecting that to to happen that, like that in episode three i wasn't expecting that um but i like how it kind of forced Meredith to, you know, to be revealed a little bit more to all her friends. It got there. It got you know some of them questioning um, how close they are. I know Izzy in particular was questioned how close she really is to Meredith and to a lesser degree to Christina because of the pregnancy, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but yeah, that, that it was good to, that 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 it did happen because again it exposed Meredith. For um, you know, and 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 you know, forced her to be open with all of her, all of her people, all of her people now now have that that knowledge of of her mom and the situation there. So now she no longer has to carry that burden um, on her own. Um, I mean, she was only following her mom's wishes, so it's not like she wanted she didn't want anybody to know. It's just that she was trying to honor her mom and not say anything. Um, because her mom didn't want anybody to find out about that. Um, and so, and just watching her mom and, and, you know, the fact that she's stuck in that time, um, that time loop now where she, you know, isn't in the present. She's definitely living in the past now. That's just so heartbreaking. Like I told y'all before, one of my greatest fears is losing my memory. Um, and so you to watch that happen on screen, is just, just so gut wrenching because it's like, dude, I, oh, I pray Pray, pray, pray that that never happens to me or anybody that I love and care about, man. Like I'm just that's just something I'm just just scared of. Um, Alex um, is you know is becoming more human every episode, um, and sure enough, he's showing the the humanity in him. Um, the more that we the more that we get to see him and get to know him, um, Izzy has thawed the ice. Um, and, uh, Meredith has gotten to see it. It's, you know, it's funny though, because, you know, Meredith has gotten to see a glimpse of his humanity. George has gotten to see a lot of his humanity. If we really think about it, because in the first season, um, you know, George went to him to talk about, you know, um, you know, trying to go out with the girl that he went out with, went to him with the syphilis situation. Um, and there was these other little moments too, where he, where they had this kind of big brother, little brother situation, um, going on. And so, you know, even though, you know, George still doesn't like him right now because of the syphilis and the, and, you know, even though he was the one that punched Alex and not the other way around, um, you know, it's interesting that they're now starting to see the chinks in the, in, in Alex's armor, when in fact George, I would be, I, I I feel is actually the first person who's gotten to see more of his humanity than anybody else, um, and, and including Izzy, and so so I find it interesting that you know that George kind of downplayed how human Alex has been and is, given that he was going to him talking about you know girls talking about relationships. Um, again, the syphilis situation, like, you know, Alex is an asshole, but Alex is still human and he's a damn good doctor. Um, and so, yeah, I kind of, I, so I find that interesting that, that they, that they have made Izzy kind of the one to 
say he's human, give him a chance when George was right there. But again, George is still kind of st still probably pissed off at him, so I would expect him to think he's Doctor Doom anyway. Um, so again, I'm interested to see that um, Izzy and um, and Alex's relationship continue to, to blossom, whatever it's going to turn into. Um, Christina and Meredith, um, again, their relationship has has uh, is definitely uh, forged in a crucible. Um, and it's going to be good to see how that continues just to unfold them now that this has happened. I'm so, so sad about, um, Christina and the ectopic pregnancy. Um, I thought that they were probably, I thought that they were going to go in a different direction given how Burke and her were still kind of, um, hovering around each other. And so I didn't see the ectopic pregnancy coming, um, but you know that was a good a good way to resolve uh, resolve that situation though it has created a new problem in that now Burke knows that she was pregnant and so the subsequent conversation or conversations um, beyond that are going to be interesting to see uh, because Burke is butt hurt and it goes back to what I was saying in the last episode with him that it's in that Burke is it, he looks like he's torn he's torn between wanting to be this great doctor chief of surgery and wanting to have a life and it's not to say that you can't have both but the way that they're painting this picture right now they're making it seem like it's impossible to do so either you're going to have a good relationship or you're going to have a successful um a successful a successful practice in terms of climbing the ladder like there doesn't seem to be room for both as far as these characters can um can are showing so far um because even richard's relationship with his wife is very very standoffish like he's like man i'd rather be at work than to be at home and you know that that's telling like dude you know you want so badly to work that you're willing to you know you only been you only been out of surgery for a week and you're already trying to get back into surgery like what is it so what's so bad about being at home that you feel like you you got to be there um and so again i just find that interesting that that's where they are right now um that that's where he that, that's where they are right now um uh, with burke because burke again like he's he's really trying to he's he's really battling i can see he's battling and struggling with wanting to you know ha care for somebody want to be there for somebody wanting to be in a relationship wanting to be in love wanting to be married have the kids it seems like the whole nine yards and be the successful chief of surgery that he, you know, has the ambition for. Um, so I'm, so I'm going to be, so again, just wondering how that's going to continue to play out and whether or not he's going to be able to achieve that. And if he's going to be able to achieve that with Christina, which I, again, I, I'm not quite, I'm not sure if that's really what the, the case. Um, uh, again, so I, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen with Christina at this point, um, in, in relation to that. Um, George still getting on my nerves. I wish he would dial down some of the emotionalist, emotionalness that, that, that encompasses him. But I think I'm just going to have to accept fate that he's just going, he can't, he can't keep his mouth shut about nothing. If he's going to say what he feel and this is going to be what it's going to be. Um, Dr. Bailey is still like my dog. Like I, I, I want so badly for them to give her more shine. Um, but at the same time, when they do put that spotlight on her, she, she, she's a G man. Like I love how she was like, listen, you could try to come in this room if you want to, I'm going to have to take you down. And I'm, I'm tiny, but you a little thin. Like, I think I can take you. Like that was so cool. Like, dude, like, like, girl, you got my respect, man. Like, you got my respect. And I love how, you know, she she's just, she's a warrior. She is a straight-up warrior. Like, dude, we're here to do a job. Let's do this job. You know, it's one of ours. Let's corral together. Let's get this done. Make it discreet. Da, 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 da. And, like, you know, I just I just really admire Dr. Bailey. Um, and and I'm, I'm wanting to, I'm wanting to, for her to have more shine time. But again, it, you know, just it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So just gonna have to wait and see. Whenever they decide to um to put the spotlight on her um a whole lot more than they already have. Um, I'm like I'm super interested to see her backs to to get more of her backstory. 
um, and to um, and to, to know a little bit more in depth about what's going on in her life um, outside of being, you know, the um, the the attending um, um, at the um, at being the attendee. I think the attendee or res I can't remember. I'm trying to remember what her title is in um, relation to the, the hierarchy of the doctors or whatnot. Um, but anyway, um, Addison is gonna is making a play for her husband. Like she still wants to be with her husband. Um, um, and so it's going to be, so that's going to be an interesting dynamic to see how that's working out because the, it seems like Derek is kind of worn out by Meredith's standoffishness, justifiably so, let's keep it a buck. Um, and so it seems like there might be a desire for him to reconcile with her, but I wonder if reconciling with Addison is a question of, of him, um, admitting defeat more so than actually being in love. So I don't, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of waiting to see what that looks like because right now Meredith is still in this leave me alone, um, phase. Um, and, and again, it's all understandable because she's got a lot that she's trying to reckon with all at the same time between Christina, Derek and, um, and her mom, let alone trying to do the job. And so, um, so it's it. So Meredith, Meredith's got a lot of stuff that she's got to work out. I'm wondering how long Derek's willing to wait for her to get her to get her um to get her mind right, um if she even still wants to be in a relationship with him. Let's let's, let's think about that. Um and in, in 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 if that's the case, how is that going to play into Derek and Addison's relationship? Um, given that one, they're still married. Two, she still loves him. Um, and wants him. She still loves him and wants him. Like I shoot, I thought they were gonna have sex at that point. Um, the way. Um, the way he went at her, I mean, the way she went at him and he didn't fight back. Um, so again, um, yeah, man, this is a great episode. I was a very, very sad episode. Um, but it was a great episode nonetheless. Um, and it set up a lot of, um, things, um, that is going to be interesting to see, um, how they all play out. So yeah, man, like this video, share this video. Thank you for those who have subscribed to the page already. Um, as of this taping, I passed the 50 subscription mark. And so thank y'all so, so much for subscribing to the YouTube page, man. I really appreciate y'all so much. I wouldn't be where I am without your viewers, without your views, without your comments. Um, so thank y'all so much. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the page below. Um, and as always, y'all, if you can't see the good, be the good. I love you guys. Peace out, homies.